All right, let's talk about AirTags. They came out early last year in 2021. Basically what they do is they help you keep track of your things. They're really similar to something called Tile. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just a Bluetooth tracker. But first, help the YouTube algorithm keep track of this video by leaving a like. Coming in as one of the more affordable devices from Apple, an AirTag starts at $29 for one. If you want a pack of four, then it's $99, which if you're looking to keep track of three or more things is gonna be a way better deal for you. The price point for these is funny because there was a meme a long time ago that basically was like, with all the money in your wallet, which Apple device would you be able to afford? And most of the time, the answer was like a charger or something like that. But now an AirTag costs almost as much as a charger, so I guess that would be the answer nowadays. Even though these devices are relatively affordable, there's one big thing you should know. If you don't have an iPhone, you're not gonna find much use for this. Given that these only work with the iPhones, there's a set list of supported devices. This list is shown here. Also, with any of these devices, they're gonna need to be on iOS 14.5 or later. Let's start with the setup. When you get the AirTags, they're gonna come in very small amount of packaging. When you pull it out, it's gonna have this small plastic piece around it, which you're just gonna remove. It's gonna work kind of like a pull tab you might have gotten in a toy that takes batteries at some point. Once the tab is removed, you'll hear this noise. That means that the AirTag has been turned on. Once you're ready to set it up, just bring the AirTag close to the iPhone, and then this menu will pop up. From there, you can select the name that you want for your AirTag. You can choose between the preset names or a name that you want yourself. And then next, it'll ask you to add an emoji. This emoji is what will pop up in the Find My app when you're looking for your items. Let's get into my hands-on experience. Personally, these AirTags are a lot smaller than I thought they would be. When watching them in videos and seeing pictures, I thought that they would be a lot thicker. If you're wondering the exact dimensions for the AirTag, they are a circle, so the length and width dimension is the same at 1.26 inches. If you're wondering just how thick it is, the AirTags come in at 0.31 inches thick. And in general, I feel the AirTags are pretty light, coming in at 0.39 ounces or 11 grams. Here I'll show a few common items to compare them to if you're kind of looking for a real size comparison. If you're like me and wanted to put an AirTag in your wallet, you're probably wondering if it's going to Fit. At first, I just put the AirTag free floating in my wallet and it stayed in all right. But then I ordered this $5 card off of Amazon that the AirTag pops into. Now when I have the card tucked to my wallet, it actually fits really well. The top side is a glossy white plastic and the other side is a very shiny metal backing. The white glossy plastic side of the AirTag can be engraved if you buy it from Apple's website. When you're buying them, you'll be able to put up to four letters or emojis of your choice. Coming back to the metal side of the AirTag, it looks really nice at first, but it also scratches super easily. As you can see here, the AirTag that I've only had for a couple of days already has scratches on it. If you were wondering if your AirTag is gonna get damaged by water, you don't need to worry too much about that. The AirTags are IP67 water resistant. This resistance means that you can have your AirTag submerged for a short amount of time. However, this isn't something I've tried, so I wouldn't go and do it on purpose. The battery that comes in the AirTag is also really easily replaceable. In order to do this, you just push and twist on the back side of the AirTag and the part will come off. After this, you'll see the battery, which Apple says you can easily pop in and out. The specific battery it takes is a CR2023 battery, which is something that you've probably come into contact with a lot without knowing, as this is a battery that's used in most key fobs and some watches. Apple claims that this battery will last over a year, and it says on their website in the final print that Apple tested this by doing precision finding every day until the battery died. Unless you lose your stuff literally every day, you'll probably have a longer battery life than this. I've seen online that there's a lot of confusion about the accessories for these AirTags. There have been a lot of Amazon reviews where people are mad that their accessory didn't come with an AirTag. The AirTags themselves aren't going to stick to anything, they aren't magnetic, and they don't have any loops for them. So Apple will happily sell you their own leather loops or something of that kind. At this point, the AirTag suddenly becomes a less affordable tracker as some of the loops that Apple sells are $35 or even more. Taking this into consideration, the AirTag then becomes a $65 tracker, which for some can be significantly less enticing. But luckily, there are other manufacturers like Belkin and others that produce cases for these AirTags that are much, much cheaper, some coming in around $12. This probably is isn't a device that you will find daily utility for, what does having an AirTag look like when you actually lose something? Well, if it's close, you can use the traditional tracker features, including having the AirTag play a noise that sounds like this. which will hopefully be loud enough for you to find the location of the AirTag. But what makes the AirTag different from a traditional tracker? 
Well, when you're close, within 30 feet, and have an iPhone that's iPhone 11 or newer, you'll be able to use the precision finding feature, which I must admit is pretty cool. And they kind of have a gamified aspect to it where you follow the arrow around and it's supposed to point you in the direction of your air tag. And when you get close, it gives you audio notifications as well as haptic feedback. But what happens if you lose your air tags farther away? Well, the air tag mainly relies on the Find My network. The same way a tile would use a Bluetooth connection to other tiles, the AirTag uses a Bluetooth connection to other iPhones. So if you lose your AirTag somewhere far away and somebody with an iPhone is nearby, then that iPhone will passively update the location of your AirTag. So this is something that you can use if you leave your AirTag on a train or a bus or something that takes your AirTag way far away out of Bluetooth range. You may also be able to keep track of your items at an airport since somehow those things often go missing. There's also a feature for the AirTags called Lost Mode. This works well if somebody else finds your air tag and wants to help you find it because when in lost mode you can set it to where the air tag stores your phone number and a message telling the person to call you so the idea is that if they find your air tag and they put their phone close then it tells them the phone number and they can call you and let you know where it is this works via nfc with android devices and works within the find my app for iphones with these air tags you can also set it up to have notifications if you leave them behind so let's say you're at a friend's house you have your air tag on your keys and you leave your keys behind you'll get a notification on your iphone saying that the item has been left behind let's say you leave your air tag at your house a lot you can set it to where your house is one of the locations where it won't alert you that you've left it behind because that would get kind of annoying. And if the notification works well, it might catch you before you actually leave your stuff behind at all. But there's one more thing to talk about and that's privacy. There have been a lot of issues where air tags have been placed on people's vehicles and used to track them. Fortunately, there is a feature in the air tags where if somebody else's air tag has been following you for a long period of time, then your phone will alert you letting you know that you have an unregistered air tag with you. It will give you a map with all of the locations that it has tracked with you and the time that it was first picked up around you. Once this has happened, you'll be able to play the sound on the AirTag, which will hopefully let you find it. Once you've found it, you should be able to disable the AirTag as well, taking it off of the Find My network and not giving your location away anymore. Apple recommends if you find this happening to not go home because then it will give your home location away. Also, if you feel that your safety is in danger, Apple says that you need to contact local law enforcement. Well, that's been it. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something about AirTags. Thank you.